This is the Santoft installation guide for using the Coraflex Plus flashing system at chimneys. Install the battens and underlay in the usual way. To make the junctions waterproof, turn the underlay up 100mm at the front of the chimney and 70mm at each side. Turn the upstand around the corner to keep it watertight. Tile around the chimney, cutting tiles where necessary, but make sure the cuts are big enough to mechanically fix. Once the tiles are in place, we're ready to measure up for the flashing pieces. Starting with the front apron, measure the upstand, allowing for 20 millimeters into the chase. The upstand is 100 millimeters, and the flashing needs to cover the tiles by at least 150 millimeters. That gives a total flashing width on here of 320 millimeters. The length of the front apron is the width of the chimney, plus 200 millimeters. Mark up the bends and triangular cuts for the corners and cut the flashing to length. Make the cuts using a sharp knife and then bend the corners using a suitable straight edge as shown to create the upstand and corners. Then put the flashing into place, making sure that it overhangs each side of the chimney by 100 millimeters. Once we're sure it fits, we can remove the top paper backing and then press the flashing against the chimney. Once the upstand has adhered to the chimney and the bends have been made, the remaining paper backing can be removed and the flashing dressed closely onto the tiles. A good tip is to use a roller to smoothly dress the flashing into the tile profiles. Next, create the side flashing. Measure from the top corner of the chimney to the bottom corner and cut a piece of Coraflex Plus to this length. Mark the upstand and then bend the flashing at this point. Put the flashing into place and mark the chimney corner. Then mark the lower edge of each brick joint onto the flashing. Then mark lines 20 millimeters from the brick joint lines to create the turn-ins. Remove the excess piece of the front edge of the side flashing. Cut and remove the excess triangular pieces as shown. Offer the flashing up to the chimney and check for fit. If OK, remove the upstand backing and press into place. Dress the turn-ins into the brickwork joints. Then remove the remaining backing paper and dress the flashing onto the tiles. Ensure the flashing closely follows the tails of the tiles. Once fully dressed into place, remove any excess pieces as shown. Cut and fit a side flashing piece for the opposite side of the chimney in the same way. There we can see the completed front apron and chimney side flashings. We're ready to form the backing gutter flashing. This needs to turn up the wall by 65 millimeters, turn into the wall by 20 millimeters, run across the valley bottom, up the return, over the tilt fillet to the top of the board and finish with a welt. Here we need a total width of 450 millimeters and be long enough to reach the outer edges of the side flashings. If necessary, you can bond two pieces of Coraflex Plus together to form a wider flashing. Once the Coraflex is cut to length, we can make the appropriate bends for the turn-ins, upstand and return. If everything is okay, we can remove the first width of backing paper from the upstand and valley bottom, and then again place the flashing into its correct position. Then we can turn the flashing into the chase and dress it against the upstand and into the valley bottom. Remove the remaining backing paper and start to dress the flashing onto the return and over the tilt fillet, taking care to dress the flashing right into the corners at each side and over the tiling to meet the side flashings. At the chimney corners, the flashing can be trimmed so that it can be just turned over the side flashing at the edge of the back gutter. This edge can then be dressed over the corner. Once formed, the underlay can be turned back over the flashing and tilt fillet. Next, create a flashing to cover the back gutter upstand. It should cover the upstand by 65 millimeters and be long enough to turn around the chimney by at least 100 millimeters. Check the fit and if okay, remove the backing paper and dress into place. And there we have the completed chimney flashing system. The remaining tiles can now be installed, cutting the tiles where necessary to fit the back gutter and the brick joints pointed with mortar or lead mate.